When I was a born-again Christian, the Bible told me how to live my life. The Ten Commandments, for example, except that I didn't actually read and remember them. Recently, a friend asked me what they are, and I was embarrassed, so I went to the Internet to find out. I was surprised to discover that there are two different sets of Ten Commandments, even in the Bible. The ones that were written on stone tablets at Mount Sinai aren't the familiar ones that my Sunday school teachers talked about. Somehow, two Bible stories had gotten blurred together in my church. In the Bible, the stone tablet Ten Commandments included things like, You must not boil a kid in its mother's milk and everything that first opens the womb is mine. Then when I searched for the familiar ten, what I found is that Catholic and Protestant and Orthodox authorities each put them together a little differently. It was a good reminder, I guess, that all along our spiritual ancestors have had their disagreements about what matters most. Even so, the idea of Ten Commandments is a useful one. It forces you to really think. How do I want to live? How do I want others to live? What are the most important rules in the world? If you had to come up with a set of Ten Commandments to guide your life, what would they be? I'll tell you mine. I have to confess that I follow them rather imperfectly. For example, I'm sometimes, okay, often, too sure that my opinions are right. And I'm more prone to worrying than celebrating. And yet, when I consider this list, I think, yes, that is what I'm about, who I want to be, the person I hope I am becoming. If I'm going to, quote, be the change I want to see in the world, these ten are where it's at. 1. Do unto others as they would have you do unto them. 2. Give more than you take. 3. Always keep in mind that you may be wrong. 4. Strive to value the suffering and joy of other beings like you value your own. 5. Care more about seeking truth than you care about being right. 6. Practice random acts of kindness. 7. Protect the sacred web of life so that future generations can delight in the beauty and complexity into which you were born. 8. Take time to celebrate the gifts of life, love, and beauty. 9. Ask for help when you need it. 10. Live in love. 